All right, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, first Tuesday of March. Oh my gosh, we're already finishing up the first quarter of the year. Time is flying when you're having fun, right? So I'm excited to share with you guys some information tonight and of course be able to answer all of your questions. If you are a guest tonight, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to be sharing information about LifeWave, the stem cell activation patches, as well as the other patches that David has invented. My name is Dr. Stacy Holweger. I have, everybody always asks this, I have a PhD in integrative medicine and a PhD in functional medicine. I've been in holistic health for the last 20 years, uh, but I am not your doctor, okay? So <laughs> if you have any pressing medical questions about your and your condition or what's going on with you, please consult with your physician, your healthcare practitioner. The information that I'm going to be sharing tonight is for informational purposes. And I want you to understand that I'm going to be talking specifically from the studies when you ask me about specific questions. Um, I won't talk about diseases, but I can talk about systems and organs and the functionality of the, the cells and tissues and organs in the body and how all of that works with using our technology. So I hope this is super informative for you and um, you're able to get all of your questions answered. So with that being said, I want to get started with talking to you about this technology, what it is, how it works, where it came from, where you can get all the rest of the information you need, and then jump into questions. So this is what we're talking about tonight. This is a non-transdermal patch. This patch is X39 stem cell activation patches, but they all look just like this, okay? And so non-transdermal means nothing is transferring into your body. I'm sure you're familiar with a birth control patch, nicotine patch, pain patch. Those are patches that are transferring a chemical, a substance, or a nutrient into the body in hopes that it would do something chemically to alleviate or uh, balance something, right? You, who knows? Depends on what it is. That's not how this works at all. Okay, so are you ready? New brain cells being formed right now. Okay, so non-transdermal, nothing's transferring in. Then how is this working? So David Schmidt is the inventor of this technology. He's actually been inventing. He started inventing these patches 20 years ago with our energy enhancer when he was working with the U.S. Department of Defense and the Navy SEALs on their mini submission to help with survival equipment. He was downloaded, given the information by God, by the divine, to create a non-transdermal patch that triggered beta oxidation, which means turns body fat into fuel, for the SEALs to be able to help them get off their caffeine, amphetamines, uppers, all that kind of stuff. So over the last 20 years, David has invented a dozen patches, and I'm not going to go into all of them, of course, tonight, but... The, the mechanism is the same for all of them. They just have different proprietary blends of organic amino acids, sugars, oxygen, water in them. Different combination, different molecules that form together in what I call a crystal lattice structure, okay? And not like a clear quartz crystal or an amethyst, not that kind of crystal, okay? Not this, it's not this chopped up into bits and pieces, <laughs> okay? Many of you are familiar with crystals. They come from the earth, which is fantastic. It's amazing. But this is actually a solution of molecules that form together in a, in a lattice structure. Kind of picture that lattice that's underneath the decks. I used to, I was from Indiana. And so there was always that lattice structure underneath the deck when the deck went up to the second level. So that's a lattice structure, right? That combination. So embedded in this patch, is what David has invented, a crystal lattice structure. So I wanna to explain to you how this is working then if that's not going in our body, because it's not, to actually do what this technology says it's gonna do, okay? So if you put your hand on your chest, you are 98.6 or on the side of your face, right? You can feel you're emitting heat. I live in Florida. If I went outside right now, it's dark. So I can't see my neighbor, I can't see the bobcat or the panther or any other animal out there right now in the woods we live out in the country, um, unless I had night vision goggles. Then I could see the heat or the light that's being emitted from the body in colors, right? Red, blue, yellow, green, whatever. That heat that we emit is what this patch is working with, okay? 
So this is not an outside light source, like a red light therapy. I love my infrared sauna, but this is not an outside wavelength or light source coming into the body. We are the heat or the light. Okay. And so when you apply the patch to your body, no matter where you put it, doesn't matter. Your body's heat or light reflects back a specific wavelength of light from that lattice structure. Okay. So let that sink in for a minute. Put the patch on. Nothing goes in my body. I'm just reflecting my own infrared light, a specific wavelength of light back into my body. Pretty simple, right? Non invasive, nothing harmful, nothing going into the body. Great. What happens? Well, this patch signals a peptide. Each individual patch actually signals a peptide. Each patch signals different peptides because it's different solutions, right? Different lattice structures that are formed. And so when you put the patch on this patch, stem cell activation patch, it's going to increase a peptide called GHKCU, copper peptide, right? GHKCU, copper peptide is responsible for a million things. Um, David started researching about 15 years ago into Dr. Lauren Picard's work. If you go to reverse aging, thank you, Leah, with GHK.com, reverse aging with GHK.com. Thank you, Leah's not in the middle. I just saw it pop up in the chat at the bottom. But if you go to reverse aging with GHK.com, you'll see Lauren's work. He has like I said, 50 years of clinical studies and data in the benefits of GHKCU. It declines as you age. You probably didn't even know it, but it's responsible for everything from asthma and allergies all the way to cancer. So check that out for sure. So David figured out, well, how to signal the body to elevate its own GHK. And what happens is when you do that is you actually reset a third of your genes back to their young, youthful, healthy state. A third. That's 4,200 plus genes that are reset, young, youthful, healthy. Think about the things that you're dealing with right now, the aches, the pains, the sleep, the memory, the physical limitations, maybe the, the syndromes or you know the things on your list, the, the different types of symptoms that you're experiencing. You didn't have those things when you were young, did you? No, of course not. Why? Well, because your body had an abundance of stem cells. Your body was working always to repair and regenerate itself. Stem cells are the cells that can turn into any cell, tissue, or organ that your body needs. And like I said, you're born with an abundance of them. But guess what? As you age, your body has less and less that are active. By the time in your 30s, you've got about half that are active. And by the time in your 60s, there's less than 10%. Beyond that, there are none detectable in the bloodstream. What does that mean for you? <laughs> that means that your body's ability to repair itself is dramatically reduced, if not even gone, right? Think about it. Johnny's riding his bike and he falls over and breaks his arm. He gets up and takes off going. Maybe he goes to the hospital on his bike, gets a cast, and then boop, he's back on the playground, right? If grandma falls out of bed and breaks her hip, she's not getting up, right? That's probably never going to heal if it does all the way, right? Because her body doesn't have those stem cells on board anymore. They're there. They're just tired. They're wore out. They're dormant. They're like, I am done, Betty. I have taken care of you for a long time. I'm out. And so what happens when you put this patch on, it elevates your GHKCU. It mobilizes your stem cells, resets those genes back to their young, youthful, healthy state. Your stem cells are what we call pluripotent. They turn into any cell, tissue, or organ that's needed. So this patch will signal your body to do what it was designed to do, which is to repair and regenerate and keep the body in balance and young and youthful and healthy. Crossing those things off your list, those symptoms off your list. And so that improves your quality of life. That's how this patch works. You get up in the morning, you put it on the back of your neck, below your belly button. And why do I say those two spots? Well, because we've done clinical studies, like I said, David spent 20 years, right? Inventing these patches. So he has 20 years of clinical studies from independent labs and doctors all over the world, double blind, placebo, you name it, they're there. They're all on startx39now.com. You can go to that website. Surely it's going to type it in for me and startx39now.com. Scroll down. You'll see clinical studies and patents. Did you know David holds over 130 patents himself? I was speaking to a uh, lady this weekend at a, the event that Gloria and I were doing in New Jersey with April and Sharon, and 
this lady came up and we were talking about all of this. And she said, oh, no, 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 no. I, I review clinical studies for a living. That's my job. And she said, you have clinical studies and this is legit. And I said, we do. We actually have over 90. And she said, he holds how many patents? And I said, over 130. And she said, yeah, you don't get that. <laughs> you don't get that unless it's real and legit. How do I get it? So I was like, okay, well, I wish everybody understood that. But that's really what you have your hands on here. You have something that's proven to actually elevate your GHK, CU, copper peptide, proven to mobilize those stem cells and proven to reset, repair, regenerate, rejuvenate the body, the systems, the organs, the cells. We know that old tissue, old organs don't function the same as young and youthful ones, right? And so when you elevate your own stem cells that are young and youthful and healthy again, then that takes old tissue and makes it young and youthful and healthy again, which is fantastic, right? So what are the side effects? Huh, crossing things off your list, pain reduction, better quality sleep, deep REM sleep, more mental energy, clarity, concentration, focus, pain. Oh my gosh. How many people this weekend, Gloria, we put a patch on. They're like, what did you just do? My pain is gone. We're like, I don't know. I don't know how that happens. It doesn't happen for every single person, but it does happen for some people. And we saw it happen this weekend time and time again. And then we saw others that are like, I don't feel anything. We're like, oh, well, I didn't either. So who knows, right? No rhyme or reason to it, but we see that happening. We see faster wound healing, right? Sharon's on here. My God, she literally, her broken wrist was not broken anymore in nine days. <laughs> she has the x-rays to show it. I mean, how does that happen? She's 70 years old. Well, she's patching with the stem cell activation patch, right? And so basically, you guys, this technology is designed to help your body do what it did when it was younger. It's non-invasive. There's no side effects. There's no contraindications. I'm sure many of you are on medications. You're probably on supplements, nutritional. You're doing all kinds of um, therapies or modalities. You know, this weekend there were, there were oh my gosh, there were blue, uh, uh, purple beds, uh, amethyst beds. There were, the Beamer was there. People were doing the Terra one. There, there were all kinds of different holistic modalities that were being done at this holistic oneness fair, heart of, heart of uh, oneness, holistic event. And so, can you do all of that? Of course you can. Absolutely. You can do anything holistic you want with this. It's only going to accentuate it. We have lots of acupuncturists on our teams, lots of practitioners, right? Massage therapists, cranial sacral therapists, you name it. We've got tons and tons of type, types of therapists and doctors, chiropractors and, um, you know, medical doctors, right? We have lots of those on our team as well, too. And so you can use this with medicines. You can use this with any type of therapy. And again, check with your doctor if you have specific questions. But that's our basis of this, how this works. Kind of give you guys the rundown. Um, Price-wise, it's literally the price of a cup of coffee a day. That's super amazing. I know we got it. I love green tea. I love green tea and green tea is up to $5 now. And I'm like, wow, I can patch my entire body for $5 a day or I can get a green tea and just brew it at home. I think I'm going to need to start brewing my green tea at home more often, which I do anyways. I drink all kinds of teas. But anyway, you know, sometimes when you're out and about or out of town, you want a green tea and that's just pricey, right? And this is not. How long do I use this? Well, here's the beautiful thing. Um, you can patch as long as you want. There's no time limit. I always say just stop patching whenever you want to start aging again, because we know that this improves your cellular level, right? The age of your cells and tissues and organs. Dr. Sanders, I he's a pharmacologist. I interviewed him um, about a month or so ago for the second time. And I interviewed him about a year and a half ago. He was 45 years old when he had his heart attack. His heart was functioning as a 75 year old because you know you can test the functionality of your organs. That's common. Any doctor can do that. Pull some blood work, do some tests, different types of things, maybe an echo, EKG, whatever, um, and be able to determine the functionality, the age of your organ. And his heart was functioning as a 75 year old when he was 45 and had his heart attack. So he tried five different prescription medications, statins, you know, the whole nine yards, blah, blah, blah. Nothing changed. Still time goes on. He in, is introduced to the holistic world as a pharmacologist. He says, okay, I'll give this a shot because nothing's improving my heart and I'm not going to be around much longer. Tries all the holistic supplements, all that nutritional, right? Which is fantastic. Still, his heart was functioning as a 75 year old. Why? Well, he's getting older, right? He has less and less stem cells on board. So enter LifeWave into his life when he was 64 years old. 64 years old, he starts using the X39 stem cell activation patch. One year goes by. Marcy keeps telling him, just patch, patch, patch. Don't stop patching, right? You're, you're in your 60s. You need at least six months, seven months, but keep going, keep going. 
One year goes by, he gets his heart tested. Guess how old his heart is? 37. Whoa. Like we only get one heart. <laughs> Would you want your heart function as a 75 year old or as a 37 year old? And so we can see from our clinical studies every six weeks using this patch, we can see the functionality of your vascular system, system performing eight weeks younger. Every six weeks, eight weeks younger. That's what we see in the clinical studies. So what does that mean for you? We all have a heart. The longer you use this, the better your heart, your vascular system, your all your systems in your or, and organs in your body are going to function. And again, we see this because of the studies. So when I say that you put this on the back of your neck or below your belly button, that's because that's what was done in clinical studies. David, you have to have a controlled environment, right? And so David has chosen to use traditional Chinese medicine principles, right? TCM, because acupuncture points and meridians are powerful. If you're not familiar with acupuncture, find yourself an acupuncturist. If you don't like needles, then stick your patches on those places, right? They do acupressure as well too, but it's an amazing modality to help open up the pathways, the energy in the body, and to be able to impact different organs and systems. And so David and all of the people that have done clinical studies have used traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture points, which are obviously, you know, connected to acupuncture meridians to different organs and systems. So honestly, you can put the patch anywhere on your body, just so you understand this. It's working right here. Why? Because my whole body is heat. I emit heat everywhere. Like there's not a spot on my body that doesn't have warmth to it. Even if your hands or feet are cold, it doesn't matter. You're still going to be 98.6 degrees. Your body's still emitting that low level infrared light anywhere. It can go underneath your clothes. It could be over here. It doesn't have to be seen by anything on the outside to work. Okay. So you put it on in the morning, you leave it on 12 hours, take it off, throw it away or put it in your pet bed. I have a one-year-old poodle over here next to me. She does not need X39 right now, that's for sure. <laughs> but my four-year-old, yeah, her hips are getting a little wore out because she's a little short, fat, fringy. So she maybe needs a little X39 here or there, right? So if you want to like bump up your pet a little bit, give them a little extra life, give them a little extra um to their day, then you can use the X39 on them after you're done with it. But as far as the other patches go, I'm not going to go into all of them. I'm sure you're going to ask me questions and things will come up, but I do want to mention the Eon. And the reason why is because I call this the dynamic duo. So when one of the first videos I watched when I found out about this two years ago, David was talking about these two patches and the importance of them together. So we know that inflammation is the root cause of disease in the physical body, right? There's problems, there's toxicity, things are building up in the body and we have inflammation. So we want to reduce the inflammation in the body, reduce the inflammatory uh, markers. And so this is a broad range anti-inflammatory, basically. This patch looks just like this one. It signals a different peptide. It signals a peptide in your liver to upregulate what's called SOD, which is your body's own ability to to, um, downregulate an inflammation in the body. So this asks the body to get back into balance. Let's reduce inflammation. That's going to help the body to repair and regenerate faster, right? When you don't have the inflammation as much, we need some, but not as much as what we see in the modern American body. Honestly, how do you get inflammation diet, lifestyle, stress, injury, illness, surgeries, lots of ways to get inflammation in the body. This patch also brings your body into a parasympathetic state, that calm, rest, relax, digest state. Your body cannot repair if you're constantly in fight or flight. Go, 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 stress, 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 worry, 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 fear, 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 fear. Your body can't repair. It just, it just can't. You need to relax. It needs to have time to get into that deep restful state, right? Which you obviously should be doing at night. And so when you use these two patches together, X39 and Eon, we call this the dynamic duo because they speed up your repair and regeneration time. We know, and this is David's analogy, if we were to get a stem cell injection in our shoulder, say there was pain, there was injury, you know, we had an accident, we have range of motion issues, we go to get a stem cell injection. It's anywhere from, you know, eight to 10 to 25, $30,000 for that injection. We know it's invasive. We know there are risks. There are, there are risk of cells improperly dividing. Um, obviously, you know, we know that um, there could be some complications and there could be some pretty uh, controversial places where you're getting those stem cells, to be honest with you. And so you inject the stem cells into the shoulder where all the problem is, where all the inflammation and, and issues are. Well, it's like a moth to the flame. Those stem cells, say you inject 2 million, you may be left with 200,000 if you're not addressing 
the inflammation in the body. The thing is, you can't just go and take anti-inflammatories before you get stem cell injections because they're not going to be effective. Your, the stem cells are not going to be as effective. And so you want to make sure that you're doing something to help the body naturally do what it was supposed to do, which is to reduce those inflammatory markers, the cytokines, the fibrinogen, the C-reactive proteins, things like that as you're increasing your stem cell production. So tonight I'm getting ready to answer your questions. So I'm gonna make sure I give you guys plenty of time, but please know that I'm always going to tell you to start here. And I recommend everyone start here. There may be a supportive patch or two outside of these that will also benefit you. And I'll definitely suggest those, but this is always your starting point, okay? Because this gives your body the best chance of getting into balance, calming down, relaxing. That's what this does. We call it our happy patch, reducing some of the inflammation, getting the body set up for that place to where it can really get to the root of the problem, which is what your stem cells are going to be doing and start to repair and regenerate the body. And for those of you that have nothing wrong with you health-wise, like me, I've not had any health conditions, issues, symptoms, nothing whatsoever. I started using this two years ago for prevention, for vitality, for longevity. I want to prevent the top five, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's, dementia, all those degenerative diseases. I'm preventing them. I found out about stem cells 21 years ago when I was pregnant with my daughter. I banked both of my kids' cord blood, and I have been researching stem cells ever since. I actually spent over 10 years doing different types of stem cell therapy in and out of the country with my daughter, spent over $100,000 in stem cell therapy. Were there benefits? Yes, there were benefits. Did we have any benefits like we had with these two patches? No. None whatsoever in 15 years of everything holistic we did under the sun, kind of much like Dr. Sanders, um, 15 years, nothing came close to these two patches on the back of her neck every morning on the way off to school. Nothing came close. We saw more changes in a year's time than we had in 15 years time. And so that's how impactful these are. So you always want to start here. And then again, like I said, I'll share with you maybe a patch or two that would also benefit in that situation. But just keep in mind your questions. I'm going to be talking about like symptoms. I'll talk about systems in the body. And I'll talk about the different organs and the patches that will impact your body, but definitely not specifically to a disease. Okay because we're not here to treat or to diagnose anything at all, let alone to say we cure it. So question, question, question. I'm excited to answer your questions. Does it help with muscle pain? Absolutely, definitely, definitely. I know Laura, the first time we went to see David, which was literally like, I don't know, two days after we found out about this, um, she had a, a old injury in her shoulder. And I always like to reference the shoulder because of Laura and, and David's example, of course, but she had an old injury. And I said, well, let's just put the patch on it. I don't know, stick it on there, stick it on the spot. And within 20 minutes, she had a range of motion again and the pain was gone. How did that happen? I don't know. I didn't feel anything for three weeks, but she did. So we can definitely help with muscle pain. Absolutely. Can you please explain how it helps with cancer patients? Well, we cannot talk about cancer. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is one of the big top fives that we are not going to be talking about. So when you talk about getting your body in balance, that's super important, right? We look, just like David always says, um, we look nutritionally at your food. You know, we look at what you're consuming. We look at what are you doing to detox your body? You know, are you, are you eliminating toxins um, in your home, in your environment? Um, you know, are you, are you actually detoxing? Are you doing any type of heavy metal or parasite cleanse? Today's the full moon. You should have already started your parasite cleanse if you're doing that for this month. So looking at those types of things in your environment, what are you doing for stress? We know that cancer is root, rooted also, not only physically um, in the imbalance in the body, but also in the emotions, right? The mental state. So what are you doing to, um, you know, address those types of things? But as far as the patches, X39 and Eon, of course, work amazing to be able to get your body into balance with whatever's going on inside of it. Um, if you want to specifically look into someone that talks about our patches, you can look at Suzanne Summers. She has written uh, tons of books, um, but four of them specifically, and you can go to YouTube and, and find her as well, too. Um, she has worked very closely with David using the glutathione patch to cure herself in her words of her um, breast cancer along with other things but the glutathione patch was a massive part of that I know Laura who had um, stage three breast cancer cured herself 
five years ago with IV vitamin therapy, nutrition, detoxification, supplementation, um, just all the things I just mentioned with no chemotherapy, no radiation, and no cutting at all, not even a biopsy, and was using high doses of, of IV vitamin therapy along with glutathione in the push. She had compounded carnosine. The doctor had compounded for her, which one of the patches that we have elevates your carnosine level. So definitely check out um, Suzanne Summers book. If you want to learn a little bit more um, about that from, from her, but I can't speak specifically, but yes, thank you, Jenny. If you go to again, reverse aging with GHK, see you reverse aging with GHK.com. Dr. Lauren Picard talks about colon cancer, breast cancer, uh, prostate cancer on his site with his clinical studies and the benefits of GHK CU copper peptide. So yes, uh, it does definitely. Um, so as far as Google search, so um, I would go to PubMed. That's where I would search, not just a random Google, because you know, on Google, anybody can type anything and they can um, place an ad and have anything they want put on Google. Did you know that? So I would go to maybe Google Scholar or go to um, uh, PubMed because there's lots of research on PubMed with GHK and the benefits. But uh, we definitely have, like I said, clinical studies, startx39now.com. And so if you see that, um, you can look there and see the benefits of GHK. And we have zero participants that have um, gotten cancer from using our patches. So that's definitely something you want to research. All right, so people with blood clotting problems, can they benefit from X39? So when you look at the vascular system, which is addressing blood clots, look at the vascular system, you definitely would wanna use the X39 and use the Eon. One of the inflammatory markers is fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is a blood clotting factor. I can't give you a drug to lower your fibrinogen. Um, it's it's a part of your blood that's sticky. It goes with the platelets. And so when you have, say you bump your, your leg or something and you get a bruise, immediately platelets and fibrinogen come to the scene to start repairing and clotting the blood there. I know this very well because my daughter has always had, she always had low fibrinogen. Um, so your, her blood was thin, okay? So with the patches, she was able to put her body back into balance. So she no longer had those issues. So that was incredible. But blood clotting, you definitely want to use X39 and Eon, reduce the inflammatory markers of the fibrinogen and get that vascular system working. Um, also, carnosine would be fantastic for you too. We look at the cardiovascular system, um, the heart, and we look at the arteries. Carnosine is an antioxidant that your body makes that declines as you age as well. And so that's fantastic. Which patch is most effective for menopause and Parkinson's? Well, we definitely can't talk about menopause or Parkinson's, but when we talk about the female reproductive system, the organs in the female, uh, we would use X39 and Eon. SP6 is amazing uh, for balancing the entire endocrine system. So we would definitely love that patch for that. Um, Alavita is also great. We've had wonderful success with women um, loving the Alavita at night to help them sleep and, and all those types of things that could potentially happen when you're trying to sleep. Um, so that's amazing. David did invent the um, Shine and Dream. And we know that that works incredible to balance hormones, men and women. Uh, when you look at anything to do with the brain, to answer the second part of your question, we know that uh, neurological, we look at X39 Eon, some other options, like I mentioned, are carnosine. And then, of course, X49 is David's most recent patch. And that's amazing for the neur neurological system as well, too. Ashley, you were at the expo. That's fantastic. How wonderful. It was good, wasn't it? It was big, really, really big. And Jenna was there, too. Oh, my God, I love it. That's awesome. Uh, we were in Edison. Edison, yes. Okay, so I'm sure I met you then, right? Jenna, Ashley, I may have met you guys. Hi. <laughs> uh, so let's see this. She said, I started a dear friend on patches a few weeks ago. 39, Eon, glutathione, carnosine, Alavita, 75, many health challenges, including diabetes, frequent skin cancers, blood pressure, name a few. He's got a grocery list, right? Just like most people do. A few days ago, he started to experience numbness in his fingers and his lips which is scaring him because he plays trumpet at church. In addition, he has trouble sleeping. So I suggested the sleep patch after four nights. He's still not sleeping. Does it ever happen to people where they get worse before they get better? He's drinking a lot of water. So number one, he's 75. And I'll be honest with you, that's a lot of patches to start with. Okay, 75 years old. I'm hoping that you started him as with I like to do start anybody slowly. 
Um, always X39 and Eon first. Um, if you have any kind of health conditions or issues, which obviously has a lot, I would start them on that for a, a couple weeks, two, three weeks. Um, glutathione and carnosine are a patch that you can rotate every other day. If he's on a lot of medications, um, anybody over 60 that's on a lot of medications, you want to go slow with glutathione. Medications are toxins. That's it. They're toxins. So if you're on any medication, you are consuming toxins on a daily basis. It's just what they are. And so you want to be careful when you're detoxing, just go slow, right? Glutathione is a master antioxidant, detox or immune booster. It's going to help your body. The patch is not going to do anything harmful to you, but it's going to help your body eliminate some of the toxic load. So I would just do the um, X39 and Eon and for a, a couple of weeks and then do the glutathione carnosine like every other day. And then um, as looking as far as the aloe vita, you know, see how he does after 30 days and then add in the aloe vita. The patches do not cause numbness or tingling or anything like that in the lips or the hands that we don't have any side effects. Remember, if you're if you have any kind of detox reaction at all, your body is just trying to eliminate the toxins that are in it. That's why we talk about proper nutrition, hydration, a lot of water may seem like a lot. Like this right here seems like a lot of water to some people. This is nothing, right? You're talking 16 ounces, maybe. So I would ask him how much he weighs. Um, if he weighs, let's say 200 pounds, then he should be drinking 100 ounces of water a day. So ask him if he's drinking that much because you want to make sure you're able to flush out the toxins. But I would just back up on his patch for it up, yeah for a short period of time, for sure. Okay, so let's see here. How wonderful, let's see. Long-term breast cancer with tumors breaking down the skin, carnosine or glutathione better with X39. So Sherry, if you're in our Telegram or who, if you're a guest here, then ask the person that invited you. We have a Telegram channel and they can actually search. So for any of you, if you have a specific condition or issue and you want to hear other people's testimonials, again, because I can't make recommendation based on your disease or, or syndrome, but we have people that have shared their personal testimonials, like I just mentioned with Laura. Um, also Marcy who is in our upline is another one that comes to mind. She shared her testimonial many times um, from having breast stage three breast cancer that metastasized to her skin. Um, very different path from Laura, but she is um, completely in remission from using the patches. She was, um, she had double mastectomy. She had uh, reconstruction. She had chemotherapy. She had radiation. And then it still metastasized back into the skin. So I would definitely look into that. Carnosine and glutathione are both amazing. Like I mentioned earlier, Laura used both of those during her um, recovery for herself and still uses those, of course, obviously, but in patch form now, which is much more effective. So that's what I would definitely, definitely look into that Telegram channel. If someone's young has symptoms of dizziness, low blood pressure, chest pain, elevated heart rate associated with position changes, would you suggest X39 Eon to balance autonomic nervous system or other patches? Well, hopefully they went to their doctor. If they're young, those are not normal symptoms. So I would definitely get checked out by a healthcare practitioner that they go to and, and trust and maybe run some tests. Um, just because you're young, unfortunately in today's world right now, what we're dealing with, we see a lot of young people that just drop dead like that. They have serious, no, no problems and then serious issues. And so I would definitely go get checked out uh, because of what's been going on here most recently, probably in the last year or two, I would say from um, side effects from things <laughs> that are not beneficial for us. We'll just leave it at that. Um, but you can definitely use the Eon and X39 with them, but I would go get them, have them get to the doctor and get checked out. Um, so as far as bone density, the patch that I mentioned David had invented most recently is X49. So our clinical studies on X39 and 49, and you can see these on the Start X39 Now website, show a stop to help to stop bone loss and increase bone density. That's X39 and 49 combo. 39 works by itself. 49 works by itself. When you put the two of them together, it's like 
miracle, like literally what happens. It's miraculous when you look at the clinical studies with them, because we have studies with them separately and you put them together and it's exponential. So X49 actually signals a daughter peptide. 39 signals GHK CU copper peptide. 49 signals AHK CU copper peptide. And David invented this patch to help with building lean muscle mass, um, decreasing body fat, increasing obviously bone density, and uh, works directly with the cardiovascular system and also with the neurological system in the brain. Forms a 5G um, and EMF block, a Faraday cage in your body, which is amazing. I don't know if you guys have seen those little pouches. You can stick your phone in and it like blocks everything so no one can track you, find you, blocks all signals. It's kind of just that, right? Blocks all those EMFs and all that stuff. So definitely those two. Is it possible that the patches won't work or be as strongly limited to properly activated stem cells if a person has severe chronic inflammation, even if they're using Eon? And if so, what would you suggest to reduce inflammation? So um, yeah, it is not it is not possible that they won't work or be limited because of your inflammation. Unfortunately, most people have inflammation in their body. Like I would say 99% of the people, I think I've looked at two people and said, you don't have any inflammation in your body, do you? And they're like, no, I don't, I'm good to go. You can definitely tell, which is very few, like two, probably, I would say. Laura being one of them, she doesn't have any inflammation in her body. <laughs> and it's not about your size either, because I've had small people and they're like, I'm full of inflammation. My doctor told me my inflammatory markers are through the roof. So it doesn't, it's not based on your size. But as far as the patches go, Eon will definitely reduce the inflammation in your body. You should absolutely be using that to reduce the inflammation, whether it's chronic or acute. Most people do have chronic inflammation issues. Um, and I would definitely use the X39, of course. And both of those will support the lungs as well. Um, and you can also use the energy enhancer specifically on the lung points, we can see really great benefits in opening up those lung meridians and helping to remove excess, get things moving in the lungs and get that um, energy flowing and circulating. So that would be a fantastic patch as well too. But it definitely will, having any health condition at all does not limit your body from making or, or um, activating its own stem cells. That it has nothing to do with that. We're signaling peptides, okay? Lots of people majority of people have health issues. So definitely works still. When I wear the patch, I feel cramps where my uterine cancer was removed to 123. Well, that was just a couple weeks, like four weeks ago. So um, I would say probably there your trauma. <laughs> There's obviously trauma that was in that area, right? Quite a bit. And so I, I'm not your doctor, obviously I have not examined your uterus. So I have no idea to say for sure, but I would say that um, based on the body, I would say that the body is probably trying to repair itself in that area. And there's been a lot happening. And so you may be feeling some of it. Um, make sure you're using the Eon, of course, that would be really beneficial for you. As far as um, back to the other question too, for Dr. Brian, the other patch that would also help to reduce inflammation is Alavita. Alavita is the patch we use at night and it helps to reduce oxidative stress and inflammatory stress in the body. So that would be another beneficial patch to use to be able to help bring down the inflammation. So that would be amazing for you as well too uh, when you look at um, what, there's a lot of inflammation in your body if you just had um, you know, surgery, right? And so using this patch at night, X39 and Eon during the day. Um, so Nima, if you go to the Telegram channel, it's the Be Activating Telegram channel, you can find the testimonials there and uh, you just search. There, there are over 3,000 recorded testimonials, 3,000 people that have shared their personal experiences using these patches over the last three years. Um, so it's, it's a huge database. Um, can you do X39 during day and Eon at night? You sure can. Remember, X39 is a daytime only patch. X49 is daytime only. Energy enhancers, daytime only. Alavita's night, silent nights is night. Um, but the other patches can be day or night. So yes, you can definitely do X39 in the day and Eon at night. If you're someone that can't shut your monkey mind off to go to bed, you can use the Eon below your belly button. That is a triple warmer spot in acupuncture. And so it helps with that calm, rest, relaxed state. So that would be a great place to put your Eon at night. 
any information regarding noises in your head or ears. I've tried a few things, but the noise is getting louder and affecting my hearing. Huh, I would go get your hearing checked to see why or what is the root cause of that noise. Um, X39, of course, can, I mean, it can help you. You know, it can help all things. I don't know what's going on in your ears. So I would have your ears checked out for sure. It's kind of like if I can't see correctly, my vision's messed up. I, I don't know what's going on. You're going to go to the eye doctor. So I would get yourself checked out. Um, is taking 15 milligrams of zinc per day too much? No, definitely not. Uh, and no, it will definitely not inhibit X39. Remember, this works by signaling peptides in the body. And so that's literally happening at the speed of light inside of your body. So no supplement you're taking is going to have any interaction with the patch, no medication, um, unless you're on like serious immunosuppressant drugs, because you've had a, an organ transplant, like a kidney, a liver, you know, heart something like that, that's not yours in your body and you're on serious immunosuppressants. We don't have any clinical studies with people with those types of um, situations with an organ in their body that's not theirs. And so David says, you know, hey, we probably shouldn't patch. We don't know and we don't want to try on you if, you if you're trying to save your life with an organ. So, but no, no, zinc is not too, that's not too much zinc. I, I, if you look at, and I don't want to say for you personally, but um, 30 milligrams a day is, is kind of typical for zinc. But um, check with whoever recommended you use the zinc. That would be a good question. But no interference at all. Brother has fatty liver, non-alcoholic. Can he use the patch to write on the liver? Yes, definitely. You can. X39, Eon. Glutathione is amazing. <laughs> Signals a peptide in the liver. Are the patches FDA approved? That's a great question. So believe it or not, nothing is FDA approved. It's all FDA cleared or it's not. And we are FDA cleared as a general wellness product, as um, phototherapy, general wellness product. So this patch is FDA cleared in the wellness sector as a general wellness product. Our patch is actually uh, this part here, the, oh, these, when I put them on, they don't like to come off. My patches like to stick. Um, this is a 3M hypoallergenic. Band-Aid, class one medical device, okay? Does it help with bone health? Yep, just to discuss that, absolutely. Anyone have sores erupting on their skin under the patches? Uh, nope, if you're, if you're having any kind of skin issue at all, you know your skin is your largest organ, your body is trying to eliminate toxins. And so we can see like when people have rashes, when they have, you know, different things with their skin, their body is, is trying to eliminate toxicity. So number one, I would make sure that you um, use your patch, uh, maybe below your belly button. Um, make sure you're staying super hydrated and make sure you're getting some type of electrolytes, maybe a tiny pinch of he pink Himalayan sea salt. Make sure you have plenty of magnesium, you know, take some Epsom salt baths. Um, any type of skin issue means your body is detoxing and it's coming out of your skin. Super common. Um, the patch is not causing any kind of eruption or sores that that's not a common thing but we, sometimes we do see a little bit of redness around the area um, or on the body patches on the body it just means you've got a detox right your body says get out so I don't think people really realize the toxins that are in your body and this is kind of my theme for this year 2023 is about detoxing and we're not going to go full-blown into that but I want you guys to understand that picture your body like a car if you're, if you're driving a car and it needs its oil changed every 3,000 miles, you're going to go change the oil or the car is not going to function correctly. Things are going to start to break down. They're going to lock up and you're not going to be in the car much longer. So if you've never done a detox, imagine what your body is dealing with on the inside. It's going, oh my God, this oil is thick and sludgy and not working correctly. And you probably feel it. You feel like crap, right? You've got all these symptoms, all these issues on your grocery list. So think about obviously clean food. Stay away from the processed, the packaged, you know, the foods that are fried, you know, frozen, canned, full of preservatives. Stay away from that stuff, all right? Think fresh, whole. Can I grow it out back? Can it be in my garden or in my pasture? That's what I want to focus on eating, right? I want to stay on the outside of the grocery, okay? Not on the inside aisles where all of the paragraphs of things are on back of packages. And even, even if you're thinking, okay, well, this is gluten-free or this is plant-based. If there's a paragraph 
that's not good. You don't want all these artificial sweeteners and artificial flavors and colors and all that stuff. It's just designed to cause the symptoms on your list. So if you're changing your oil, meaning doing some type of detox, have you ever done a cleanse? Have you ever done a juice cleanse where you went or you've juiced your own juices or you went and purchased cold pressed juices? Have you ever done a one day or a, a two day, three day? I remember being 18 years old doing my first seven day water fast at 18 years old. I, I started learning about health and wellness at eight. Well, I, my, my mom had two gardens and my dad used to go down the road to the, you know, the butcher and get the beef. And he used to hunt. I wasn't a big meat eater, but you know, the, everything was fresh from right, right there. Right. Organic, none of that, you know, stuff in real, right. 40, almost 50 years ago. So I remember being able to go seven days <laughs> with no food, a gallon of distilled water, fresh squeezed lemons and cayenne pepper. Anybody ever done that one? Did that for seven days. Everybody thought I was nuts. And I'm like, no, you've got to clean out your car, right? You've got to detox the body. I'm not saying you need to go do that tomorrow, but I'm saying you need to think of ways, maybe a herbal tincture, right? Oh my God, I can't, I can't even count. I detox every quarter. I'm eliminating something, right? Heavy metal toxin, parasite toxin, just a liver detox, a gallbladder flush, you know, something, to help my systems and my organs. I've always done this for the last 30 years. If you've never done it, OMG, <laughs> your body's screaming, right? So I'm not saying go out and run out and do all of them at one time, but start asking yourself, like, what does my body need to eliminate? What type of toxic load do I need to get rid of? Maybe get the book Medical Medium. Anthony Williams has incredible smoothie recipes to talk to you about ways to help detox the body and help bring the body into balance um, with food and nutrition, which is amazing. So what patches can support fibromyalgia? Well, we can't talk about fibromyalgia, but we can talk about issues going on in the body with your immune system. You weren't born with that. And so if you weren't born with that, you shouldn't have that. And we can go back to where before that. So getting to the root cause, X39 Eon, it's going to take some time, depending on how long you've been experiencing your symptoms, probably longer than you had that diagnosis. So we want to look at boosting your immune system, carnosine, glutathione to support that, probably some SP6 to support your endocrine system. You probably have some endocrine system issues. Again, start at the nutrition, look at what you're doing, detoxification, use those patches to support the body, okay? X39 Eon Glutathione would be the best place to put them together or all three. You can definitely use all three at the same time and you can put them anywhere you want. Each patch comes with its own instruction booklet. So pick a spot, use that spot for seven days, switch to the next one. See if you feel anything different. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Seven days go by, switch to this one. Seven days go by, switch to that one and then to that one. Each patch has its own acupuncture points that are connected to specific meridians. So you may feel different things at different locations, or you may not. Honestly, I've moved my patches all over the place and I don't feel anything different depending on where. I just stick them on my body. I know they're working, right? I was at the expo this weekend and I talked to a physicist from Europe, had this scan done. And so he took the, I had an Eon right here because <laughs> I was showing everybody at the show. And I had, I had another one underneath my belly button, but I had this one sticking right here. And so he had me take it off and he tested me in this scan, my entire systems, everything like whole body. And he said, okay, now put it on. And I put it back on. He said, it's a 30% improvement in everything in your system when you're using the Eon. That's definitely a good patch for you. Make sure you use that every day. And I'm like, well, I do use that every day. Thank you. And he goes, yes, you definitely want to keep using that. It doesn't matter where you stick it is my point. Okay. Just put it on your body, but you can put all three below your belly button. That's usually my common spot is to do one, two, three, four, just straight down my belly button below it all the way down. till I can't go any farther. That's, that's easy. I don't have to think about it, but sometimes I put them in different places. Sometimes I'll use the places on the instruction booklet just remember it's always working, right? Because your whole body is emitting heat or light. Can you remove the patches 30 minutes while getting other therapies like red light therapy or PEMF? Those are great therapies. You can remove them, yes, and stick them back on. You don't have to. 
it's not going to um, impact them like as far as hurt them or make them not effective. You can go through the airport. <laughs> I went through the airport. I've done that a million times in the last two years. Um, does alcohol consumption lessen the effects of the patch? Well, if it does, I'm in big trouble. No, I like a glass of wine every once in a while. So it, no, it does not lessen. Now, if you're a full-blown alcoholic, we're going to have a different conversation. But if you have a drink, you know, a glass of wine with dinner here or there, you know, uh, maybe occasionally. No, it's not, it's not going to lessen the effects. Remember, if anything, it's going to help get your body in balance. Um, and so that that's only going to benefit you in all ways, but alcohol will not lessen it. So everyone experienced bright red skin response to aloe vita cream. Uh, no, oh my gosh, no, I love aloe vita. It doesn't have any retinol in it. No. Um, that's interesting. So maybe you just have a little bit more sensitive skin. I would try um, may maybe using less. I don't know how much you're using. It's just one pump. That's why it's in the pumper. And it goes, you know, all over your face, like a light, like a light um, a bit. But again, skin is, is detox. And so it may just be a little bit of your skin detoxing. But if, if it's not, it doesn't feel good, don't use it then. But uh, it does not have any retinol in it. It's at all completely um, safe ingredients. Uh, so fourth week of X39 and Eon feeling stiffness in your fingers. I never had this before I started patching. What could it be? Suggestions. I would definitely look at your water intake. Like I had mentioned before, half your body weight in ounces is what you should be drinking. Um, that means if you weigh 120 pounds, 64 ounces is fantastic for you. Now, if you have coffee or alcohol, then those things are extremely dehydrating. So you'll want to overcompensate with some extra water. And I know people are like, oh yeah, I drink water. And it's like, yeah, it never really is exactly what you say you're drinking. So keep track of that water. It's really important if you're feeling stiff, um, your body is probably like, I need fluid. <laughs> I need hydration. This, this patch is a wearable light technology. And so our cells need the water for conductivity. So I would definitely up your water intake. Make sure you're getting electrolytes. Like I said, magnesium. Most people are deficient in magnesium. There are seven kinds of magnesium just to kind of start like 12 total, but seven pretty basic ones. So I would get maybe just a broad spectrum, different type, unless you know specifically which one you want. Um, but I would make sure you're getting magnesium in your body. That's, that's typically what happens when people aren't feeling so great. They are, they're deficient in electrolytes and water what to do when people develop a rash around a patch. Just move to a different spot. If you have a pacemaker, again, of course, check with your doctor, but um, we have lots of people. The first people that I patched after my kids were my family, my in-laws, and my father-in-law has a pacemaker. He has a defibrillator and he had a stroke and he loves the X39. So Dr. Stacy, yes, I did say PubMed. Any suggestions for people with cog, uh, congestive heart failure? So when you look at the heart, we look at X39, we look at X49, Eon and Carnosine. Those are our patches for the heart. You can see on my YouTube channel, um, Dr. Mario and Dr. Pamela a couple of weeks ago did a fantastic Zoom with me, specifically talking in depth about the heart and the patches and the acupuncture points and whatnot. Um, as far as the name of the blood test to determine your actual like biomarkers and, and that kind of stuff, there's not a specific test for that. So talk to your doctor. Most uh, medical doctors that I know don't necessarily look at this. A lot of naturopathic doctors do, holistic doctors, functional med doctors. So you just, you can let them know you'd like to see the functionality of your cells and organs in your body. Um, they're definitely not going to just do a CBC. They'll do probably a CMP and they're going to pull other panels too, right? They're going to look at the function of your endocrine system. And they're going to look at different organs, you know, your, your pancreas, your kidneys and your liver, your heart, you know, they're probably going to do an EKG and stuff like that. So I would ask them for that specific. Like it's not one test that you just say, go test this. It's a little bit more. My blood work was seven pages. I know Laura's, she had hers done. She's 60. Her blood work shows she's in her thirties now, right? Mine, I'm almost 50 and mine showing I'm in my twenties. So best place to see all the pricing options. Great question. So get back with a person that invited you uh, price wise. They can go over it with you. The X39 and 49, these are 150 for a month supply. 
Eon, any other supported patches, they're 80 retail for a month supply. You can get a wholesale pack. And a wholesale pack allows you to be able to purchase uh, whatever you want at the discount without any fees or commitments. And so we like what's called the silver pack. The silver pack is $2.99. It allows you to get, let's say, for example, an X39, an X49, an Eon, and a glutathione. You get a month's supply of everything for $2.99. Or you can get three X39s for $2.99. Or you can get an X39, an X49, and two Eons, whatever. You can mix and match however you want in that pack. Um, but the packs start at $2.99, and then we have a gold pack that's $4.99. You're getting more patches, obviously. When you jump up to the platinum or the diamond, then, of course, the prices are better. So your price point goes down per patch because you're buying in bulk. A lot of people like that if they're a husband and wife or they want to have everything they need for the next six months. Remember, I said this is based on age, so you want to use this for one month for every 10 years you are old. So if you're in your 60s, six months, 77 months, 80s, eight months, that kind of thing. Um, so, okay, make sure I get everything. Uh, have any oncologists supporting the patches as alternative treatment? Uh, we, I do not have any oncologists that I work with. I have MDs on my team. Uh, I know Marcy has MDs. We have lots of medical doctors, uh, but without being under their care, they're probably not going to be making recommendations that wouldn't be allowed to just make a recommendation for someone that's not their patient. So I would get the information to the oncologist and see if he's okay with um, her using a non-transdermal patch. That's what we recommend that our, our clients or customers take the information to say, here's the information. It's a non-transdermal patch. Can I use this? Um, we're someone with, again, neurological, X39, Eon, uh, X49, carnosine are all for neurological. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what about uh, aortic aneurysm? Again, I can't speak directly to that. You would need to consult with your physician. Um, looking at the blood, we've already discussed those options. Um, same thing with, uh, I can't talk about specifically Alzheimer's, but looking at the brain. Again, X39 Eon, X49, carnosine. I will have this uploaded to my YouTube after this is over, and I will make sure that um, it's done tonight so you can, it'll be uploaded and you can share it. Uh, let's see, if you should drink 85 ounces of water daily, can that include, oh, here we go, here's the rest of it, <laughs> 50 ounces of coffee, no, oh my God, no, oh my God, no, 50 ounces of coffee, Tom. I don't know where you are because there's over 200 people on here, but no, put the coffee down, buddy. Your nervous system is out. Woo, you're no, your body is not happy. So definitely um, 85 ounces of water is 85 ounces of water. Every cup of coffee you consume, you need an additional 16 ounces of water to compensate for the dehydration from that coffee. So if you're consuming 80 or 50 ounces of coffee, um, that's like six cups of coffee a day. And so I don't know what six times 16 is, but I'm thinking it's like an additional 80 something ounces of water. So you're going to have to drink about a gallon and a half of water a day if you want to keep drinking that much coffee. Or you could use the X39 and Eon and, and the glutathione would probably benefit you as well too and help get your body in balance. That would be fantastic. Um, far as brain, you would definitely use the X39 Eon carnosine could also use 49, right? Anything uh, for spike proteins in the blood. So when you're looking at the blood, you want to get the blood back in balance. That's X39 and Eon for sure. So I would definitely use those two. And I would also use the glutathione. There's a video on my website of David being interviewed about the jab. And he goes into depth about sharing screen on the light field, dark field microscopy, and what he's seen in these people that he's been studying in clinical studies that are not published <laughs> for obvious reasons, and using the X39 Eon and glutathione to help support the immune system and help to detox these things out of the body. Um, so as far as your two-year-old, we, we don't have any clinical studies on kids. You know, like I said, the first two people I patched are my, were my children. I've patched kids, lots and lots of kids, but I can't make a recommendation um, for a specific child. 
if I was saying that um, someone, you know, has all these allergies already, then their immune system is compromised for some reason. Um, so I would look at the food, number one, which is great. There's, you know, milk and, and eggs, uh, gluten, obviously all of the dyes, the red dyes, the blue dyes, the yellow dyes or green dyes, all of that stuff. So anything processed packaged, I was look at really whole foods and, and why I know my two-year-old when he was, when I found out about a lot of this stuff and detoxing, I actually did him through a round of candida detox, a round of uh, heavy metal detox and around a parasite detox because he had started to get like leaky gut and he was starting to get little rashes on his face and stuff. And, um, I just, I ran him through those three detoxes, herbal detoxes, and he's, um, 18 now. So haven't seen a doctor <laughs> his entire life, but, um, uh, I can't make a recommendation, but I would definitely look at boosting his immune system because his immune system's out of balance and it shouldn't be at two years old. Right. So it's probably, um, something he was either, I don't want to say he was born with it, but, um, depending on your health situation, right. Moms pass things to babies. We know everyone has Epstein-Barr, which is a, you know, virus depends on when it affects them. Uh, for my daughter, it's starting affecting her at age three with eczema and, um, things like that. And hers was vaccine induced. I can speak directly for her. I don't know about your child, but at 18 months old is when my daughter started with the eczema after her MMR and many other things that started with the bruising and the headaches and the joint pain and things like that, that I wish I would have known what I know now. But uh, when dealing with detoxification, it's a good idea to use activated charcoal. Uh, activated charcoal is amazing. Um, you have to remember that it's going to grab anything that's in the body. So it's always best to do that at night before bed. I, I love doing my activated charcoal. I'll do rounds of it every once in a while. Just, you know, if I'm detoxing like parasites uh, or heavy metals, I'll use activated charcoal at night before bed because it does grab everything in your body. And so you don't want to make sure you're not, you know, taking that around the time that you would take any nutritional supplements or food or anything like that nutrients. You can use X49 by itself but it's more effective with the 39. And then as far as, um, you know, you're looking at your hormones, I would do definitely X39, Eon and SP6. You can put it on the dog anywhere. It doesn't matter about the fur. They can go on their collar. It doesn't even actually have to touch their skin. And yes, you can use it with wet, uh, red light therapy. As far as dogs, you can use X39, Eon, glutathione. Um, you can use Ice Wave or AccuLife, same thing. Um, definitely brain again, when you're talking about MS, you're looking at neurological 3949 Eon carnosine. Do you have to use the ice wave with the X39 for it to work? Oh, nope. It works all by itself. The testimonials, um, Galaxy Note 20, get with the person that invited you. We have a private testimonial channel and they can help you get into that. Uh, weight loss, X39 Eon, X49. Uh, glutathione, SP6, we have energy enhancer, we have a tummy reduction protocol, which is amazing. So uh, Nima, get with a person that invited you, they can help you find out what the uh, tummy protocol is. Definitely aloe vita uh, with the skin. I would definitely use that if you have skin issues. Um, so if the pat, yeah, the patches stick, um, sometimes they, and they don't like to come off. So if it's too much, just put them on the inside of your shirt like this, and you can wear it just like that. And it's still working perfectly fine. I know sometimes mine are like, ah, they don't want to come off, but I've never had it rip my skin or anything. Uh, yes, you can definitely use the nighttime patch in the same place you use the daytime patch. Signals different peptides, so it doesn't matter. So I think, yeah, pain, ice wave. I think you guys, yeah, you can definitely use NAC. It's the precursor to glutathione. Uh, you don't have to have it, absolutely not, but you can definitely use it. It's definitely one that David talks about a lot. And I think I've got pretty much all the rest of your questions answered. I know, I thank you guys for some of you on here that are answering some questions too. Um, but as far as, yeah, okay, good, awesome. My YouTube channel, Dr. Stacy. thank you guys. I love you guys that are answering questions in here too for me. Thank you. <laughs> it helps out a lot too, because there's always a lot of them. All right. So if you guys have any other questions, get back with the person that invited you. Um, definitely. We're all connected. We're all working here together. So everybody is connected to somebody that has answers, more answers that can help you if you have questions and, and get things customized for you. So thank you all for being here this evening. I look forward to seeing you on our patching podcast. We do those every single night, Monday through Thursday, 9 PM Eastern. And of course, on Friday with the beautiful Laura and Wendy on 
4 p.m. Eastern. So thank you guys. Have a fantastic evening.